This is a quick unboxing of the ProRex 400 and comparison between the Calcutta 401D and Lexa Win 300. So first up we have the ProRex here that we'll get out of the box. See pretty standard packaging. Bagged up nicely here. And inside you've got your standard sort of warranty as well as, and this is very important to hang on to here, your schematic. So if you ever do wind up having to sort of tear it down and loop things up, always, always hang on to that. So we'll get it out of the plastic here. So first impressions. That is quite possibly the chunkiest power handle I've ever seen. Uh, the Lexa Win 300 that I have here came with the power handle, the uh, sort of wind grip polymer or sort of composite grip handle. I took that off in favor of this Gomexa sort of longer one. The reason I did that is it's not that I didn't really like the power handle, it's just that with a longer handle I could slow the retrieve ratio down just a tiny bit. So this here is 5-3 to 1. This was 7-1 to 1, same, same ratio as this one here. However, with the longer handle it slowed it down to probably like a 6-8 or so. Uh, you can see these two here are spooled with Barbarian Braid, which is a 90 pound braid. Uh, it's almost like throwing rope. You can actually like reach in and undo your knots if you have to. Uh, size wise, the Calcutta 400, again on the rod, it is palmable, but I don't have the biggest hands and it was like leading to some wrist fatigue for me. The 300 here actually has been really, really comfortable. I have a Tatula 200 as well on sort of like my bass and pike rod. I find it really comfortable. And this here actually feels a lot more like a 300 than it does a 400 in the hand. So pretty happy about that. Uh, some of the parts look sort of fairly similar, like brought across like the drag star is the same. It's a slightly beefed up spool tension knob with that cool sort of T-Rex eye on it. Uh, this one here features the T-Wing line guide. So Aside from just being sort of a 400, the other difference between this and sort of your Lexa 300s is this handle here is adjustable from 80 to 90 millimeters just by sort of flipping this bit here around. Uh, apparently it's got slightly beefed up internals. Um, we'll have to see if that's the case. I did have one problem with the Lexa at one point somehow this little screw here, the one that guides the line guide, and so line guide and sort of steadies it, got bent. So I was getting like a really weird, almost like grinding noise at one point. And when I wrote Dioa, instead of just being like, oh wow, that shouldn't happen. They charged me $30 to send me one single screw that would fit in a regular size envelope. So I don't know if you can see here and the difference in that. So that there is 30 to 40 percent thicker than on the Daiwa and I'm noticing that the so-called beefed up 400 has the exact same sort of little tiny sort of thin screw so hopefully nothing happens there. As far as durability goes that's really my my only concern as far as these reels go. Anyway, I'm going to get them spooled up. I'm probably going 80-pound um, Power Pro on this one instead of Barbarian. And I'll have it out and get a little more in-depth review going once I've caught some fish with it. 